everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got a little bit injured. Um, I'm going to do a how-to video today and it's going to be how to apply pre-made prosthetics. Um, yeah, I, don't, I used to do the whole um, build it up on your face or on your limbs or whatever. I used to do that with just latex and tissue. But now I'm sort of expanding my skills and I've been practicing doing prosthetics. And so, yeah, I've been doing quite a few of you. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see, definitely see some of my creations that I've made. Um, if you also follow me on Movie Pilot, um, I put like a lot of my creations on there as well. Um, this was just a little one, nothing too complex. Um, I'm all for just like doing simple prosthetics, especially on YouTube when there's people that want to learn how to do something. It's definitely better to start with a simple, a simple way to do something first and build it up. So um, yeah, it's just a flat latex prosthetic. I made it using a clay mould and I will um, put other tutorials on, especially um, how to do flat moulding. There's loads, there's like tons of different ways that you can mould and cast prosthetics. So as the years, months go on, uh, I will show you some different ways to uh, make your prosthetics. I have to just add that I am not a professional. I am not a special effects makeup artist. I am self-taught. I'm completely self-taught. I do it for fun. So, um... So yeah, um, I'm no, no, way, no means professional, so yeah, my, my word is not gospel. I've seen a lot of people um, going on about how there's lots of YouTube tutorials at the moment um, and people are giving around false facts. So I really don't want that, I, I don't want to give you false facts, um, I do things the most safe the most safe possible way of doing things so hopefully hopefully there won't be any mistakes if there are and you know you you do sfx and there are comment below i really don't mind we're all learning so none of the stuff that i post is dangerous to your skin or your health as long as you don't have any allergies so i'm going to show you how to make something like this you can see like this um, I'm not going to show you how to fl to mould it, but I'm going to show you how to apply it, how to paint it, um, how to glorify it up, how to blend it, all of that. Um, so, yeah, can't wait. So, if you want to carry on watching this to see how you create this look, then keep watching. Okay, so the first things you're going to need are your prosthetic, uh, liquid latex, I'm using Ben Nye's clear latex. Uh, anything to smooth out wax, so I'm using oil, a sponge for the latex. Uh, I'm using Ben Nye's grease paint in Severe and my Morphe brushes palette for the black for the inside of the prosthetic. And I'm using my Morphe brushes to apply the makeup. And blood, I pre-made that blood. Okay, so I've already pre-painted this prosthetic, as you can see, but I'm just going to give it a touch-up because I cleaned it a little bit with alcohol. So, um, firstly, I'm going to fill in any of the really deep grooves, and I'm doing this with my black from my Morphe Brushes palette. Um, eyeshadow's not that great on latex. Anything grease painty or eyeshadowy. It doesn't really apply that well, but what I found is um, I use sort of a herbal oil. Um, it's actually a orthopedic oil um, to to um, apply some of this pigment, and it kind of acts as a cheaper version of a castor seal oil. And um, I find that the color applies so well when you apply sort of an oil-based thing. It does, I think it does degrade the prosthetic over time, but if you're just wearing it for up to like six to eight hours, 
it's perfectly fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye. It's in severe exposure. It's got all these sort of purpley reds and brownie colours. It's probably not the best colours to use. You can use sort of any ready colours you want. And I'm just filling in the sections that aren't, that I haven't put black on. It's very important that you don't sort of mix them too much because it sort of spoils the depth um, and the texture. So I'm adding the purple, brown and reds um, to the raised up bits to give a real meaty look. And I'm kind of just doing this by eye. There's no way, no real formula to go by. Just go by what you like and what you think looks good. That's what I do. Now I'm going to take my latex and I'm going to get my sponge and I'm going to apply what I'm doing is I'm applying a thin layer um, all over the back of the prosthetic going around the edges making sure that all the edges have got full cover of latex and then just putting a thin layer of latex in the middle. You don't really need that thicker layer in the middle it makes it much harder to get off. And then I'm just going to apply the prosthetic and to apply it I'm going from the middle first, so the very middle part of the prosthetic. This just makes sure that it's all um, tight and straight and there's no air bubbles. You sort of push all the air bubbles out from the centre. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm just going to the edges and making sure that the edges are all stuck down because if they're not stuck down they'll it, they'll just peel up and it won't look very real so yeah I'm just making sure that all of my edges are thoroughly stuck down so after that it's now time for the blending and I'm using Ben Nye grease paints again and just a fluffy brush this is really great brush because you can just stipple it quite loosely and so I'm just stippling very very lightly um, a bit of the pigment over the face I probably did it a little bit too much in this but it's always trial and error and um, yeah, so then I'm just taking a really small brush and going, this is just a liner brush, and I'm going round the sort of edges of the prosthetic, adding oil, it just, it, it just smooths everything out and dilutes everything down so it's not really thick and it just looks a lot more natural because it's just a subtle pigment. So I'm just going around all the edges with sort of the purpley red and brown colours mixing it all in um, making it look really irritated and I haven't used any latex to sort of blend the edges out I made the edges of on my mould very very thin so that they were easy to blend out with just colour then I decided to change my mind and I decided to add a little bit of scar wax I'm using Ben Nye's nose and scar wax in the color in like the lightest color they do um, there was a sort of edge that I just didn't like it kind of wasn't making it look very realistic so um, yeah I decided to doctor it with Ben Nye and um, with the scar wax if you want to put scar wax on do it before you paint this was me going oh okay maybe I should like doctor it because it doesn't look that great 
So um, if you're going to use wax, do it before you paint because, yeah, the, the paint all mushes into the wax. Um, with the wax, it is very, very sticky. So I use the oil that I use as a caster seal to um, help me blend it out. But it is very, very sticky and quite hard to work with. But once you've got used to working with it, it's actually really fun to work with. So once I've blended it all out, I'm just going back over with the colours I used before just to blend it all into the skin. Um, as you can see, there's kind of like a little edge around where the edge of the wax is. That's why you need to um, put the wax on before you paint because it creates this little edge. So lastly, to give it that realistic effect, I'm just going to add some blood. I have made this blood myself. I did it using flour, red food colouring, a little bit of orange food colouring and cocoa and water. Um, and I made it so it was quite a thick like paste blood so that it could stay in place and dry quite well. I added the orange because when blood dries it has a small sort of orangey tint to it so when this blood dries it gives a kind of small orangey tint and makes it look more realistic so um, I'm just going in all the areas where I put the black so all the dark areas I'm adding blood on and that just gives it a lot more definition and makes it look really bloody and meaty and gory and then I'm just doing I'm just doing a really light layer of the blood because it's because it's a paste um, you can get it quite thin, it's, it doesn't run, so I'm just going to do a light layer of the blood over the risen up lighter areas as well. Then um, I'm just going over the edges with a bit of this blood, just literally dotting it about here and there. Um, putting a very thin layer over some of the edges, just putting a bit more over the wax so it blends in a bit more um, and just blending it out with my fingers and yeah that's it really just um, add add some blood on the edges where you want and put a bit, bit thinner and a bit thicker here and there just but don't do anything too even that is the sort of um, thing to do with prosthetics with the edges don't make anything too even, you kind of want it um, a bit jaggedy because it hides the edge a lot better. simple to do like all you need is latex really latex and any sort of red and black coloring and blood that's literally all you need it's super duper easy i know i know halloween has been and gone i missed that train completely i was super busy working all the way up to halloween so i literally had no time to do anything exciting or make anything exciting poor me but um yeah, I, as I said, I completely missed the Halloween train, so I'm doing it now. Why not? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Give us a comment. It would mean a lot to me. If you like my channel, 
please subscribe. I try to upload as many videos as I can a week of various activities and various genres. So, um, yeah, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. That's it for now, guys. As always, have fun, live life, and keep smiling. See ya!